sign. I got that for Christmas one year from my brother, who's the one that helped me update my craft room. It got some new paint, and I took out a table and a couple of shelves. We installed some shelves on uh, one of the walls, and I put a bench under the window for storage. And so my space is now a little bit cleaner, much brighter, and it is easier for me to reach my supplies and it's also feel it feels roomier because of the updates so um, let's well, let's get on with it um, I live in the Arizona desert so the Sun is super bright but let me sort of start here it is a very small room, but um, it's perfect for, for my needs. Well, for my, for my, uh, my crafty hobby. <laughs> that is the door that we just came through. So there's a pan of, of the room itself. Um, I will link a video below that um, I panned my room last year as part of a getting to know you video. I'll link that video below so that you can compare uh, the room the way it is now to the way it was back then if you want to. Um, let's start with my storage. I, when I was planning the update, I thought that some over the door shoe holders would be a good way to store certain things that I had been storing in drawers. And things that I store in drawers, it's it's a good way to store things, but I don't see them as much and I don't use them as much because of that. So this shoe holder has my punches in it. And um, it's turned out to be a really good way to store these. Um, it's easy to see which punches I have and to grab the one that I need. And since I have a view of it from my desk, it's, it's a you know, good reminder. I do have some other punches that are being stored. Where did I put those? Oh yeah, on the shelf in the back. These EK Success punches are actually too heavy they put too much stress on the over the door holder. So from there, I have a couple of pictures. I am an amateur astronomer and the photograph was taken by my father and given to me for Christmas. It has the seven sisters in it. And um, um, one of the parks in Nevada, uh, Valley of Fire, Valley of Fire is in the background. And then my uh, da my granddaughter made this rendition of the galaxy at an art class at the library last summer. So that was really cool and she gave that to me. This is my bookshelf. It is one shelf that I saved from the shelves that I replaced. And I simply have my book collection on it. A few years ago, I read Mari Kondo's book on the joy of tidying up and I did go through my library which was one of the categories and being a librarian and, and loving to read especially nonfiction I had probably three times as many books um, but I kept what what sparks joy and um, and what I what I use the most what I refer went back to the most and so those are here and um, there's some classics there's my um, my Bibles and my devotionals and and some notebooks that have information in them for me for crafting you can see there's a few you know um, planners there and 
things like that. And on the very bottom is the Childcraft Encyclopedias, which I read a lot when I was a little girl. And I always remembered them. And a few years ago, I went on eBay and found a set from the same year or the same edition that I read when I was a girl and I bought it and now I share that with my grandkids and it's really really fun. More over the door um, storage and for this one I have been storing my wood block stamps in it. Those are another thing that were in a cupboard. I seldom ever saw them and so I really didn't use them or think of them using them in my projects so and all of them except some smaller ones fit easily into this storage and that is a, um, a closet that I keep um, you know I have a filing cabinet in there and I have some crafty supplies like napkins and paper plates and things like that and some um, seasonal things and some of my uh, bigger die cuts die cuts and everything in there I'm not going to show you the closet <laughs> this video will get too long Okay, this wall, that picture is by Linda Carter Holman. It's a print by her. She is one of my favorite artists. And when we moved to Arizona, I wanted to have a Southwest feel in the artwork in our home, but I didn't want it to be too Cocapelli. And so um, we discovered her art and we really love it. She, um, uh, women and calla lilies and fruit and Arizona uh, landscapes are in her artwork and she does a lovely job and my husband got that for me for Mother's Day two years ago and um, so that's on that wall this is um, you've probably seen this craft cart this craft cart was given to me for my birthday a couple of years ago by my brother, and I've loved how easy it is to store things in it. And it's perfect to hold the Cricut. Last night when I was looking at Pinterest, someone else showed a picture of their Cricut, and they keep all of their Cricut supplies in their cart. I don't have a lot of Cricut supplies, but I do keep um, my Cricut tools there and my plugins. And there's a book in the back. And in this drawer, I keep my, for now, I keep these um, punches, the planner punches, and my three-hole punch, and then there's the memory dex punch. In this drawer, I keep doilies. This drawer is for my printer paper. This drawer is for some random um, border punches, a ticket punch, and a doily punch. This drawer is my half, uh, half back gems and that sort of gloomy stickery stuff um, and uh, enamel dots and things like that. This drawer is my flowers and I have them on rings so all of my poppies and papery flowers are on this ring. These are uh, flowers from Dollar Tree. And then here's flowers from Joanne's and others, others, some Prima flowers that don't necessarily fit on a ring. And then here's some little random flowers and then there's some bigger ones that I've ordered and stuff. So they barely fit in here. I'm not very, I'm, I'm not really adding anything to that right now. I need to use more of it up wood veneers and tickets, cupcake liners, and these last three drawers are my washi. This third drawer is almost full. These are mostly Maggie Holmes and some of my newer sets. Almost all of this washi has been bought at Tuesday morning or Hobby Lobby because that's the craft shopping that I have closest to me. So that's my washi. My Cricut and my sewing machine. My sewing machine is another item that was put away that I didn't use very much and I'm hoping by having it out I'll use it more. Here's a Rascock cart but it's not it's the one from Michaels and it has mostly it has crepe paper 
collections, stickers, papers, um, and ephemera. I do have some rosettes that are made there. Uh, here's some stamps and charms. These are crepe paper, mostly Maggie Holmes journaling cards. And then over here is some more ephemera. And on top is some carousel embellishments that I made. And this bottom one is stationary. And this little book here is like an address book. It's stationary, things that I can use to make or send a card. This is the bench I was talking about with the pad. The pillows are from Walmart. So they were inexpensive and I really like how sunshiny they are. <laughs> Over here is a box that I keep my, um, I keep my packaging in here. Some packaging I've actually bought, but most of the packaging in here is packaging that I have, uh, that I'm re recycling basically. This box has some, um, some treasures in it like special cards and letters. Here, I'm gonna, sorry about that, everybody. Um, about, um, no. This is one of those little milk crates and in it I have magazines and books that I actually use. I have had a lot more than this, but I've gotten rid of it. Um, these are the ones that I use regularly, and then these are seasonal that I've saved, and I just take them out for the new season instead of buying new magazines every season. I've just kept ones that I liked, and I'll occasionally add to that. Here are some notebooks. These notebooks have pocket letters in them, all three of these. The other two are scrapbooks. I haven't been a big time scrapbooker, but I have started these two scrapbooks and I do add to them occasionally. I love this little light. It is something I was really glad that still fit in my craft room. Here, I'll turn that off. Now this shelf unit is basically floor to ceiling and it's adjustable shelving, although we, I'm going to keep it this way. and. I had against this wall three shelf units. They didn't cover the whole wall, but there was a lot of wood and not a lot of room. <laughs> and so um, this was really what I wanted to update in my craft room was this wall. We painted it with some uh, very, very light misty green. And uh, it's very similar to the color of my Cricut Explore Air 2. And uh, right now, this is how I have them organized. My organization does change as the seasons change and as the projects that I'm working on change and as I get new things or get rid of things. So, um, but this is the way I have it for now. And I'm sure that as I begin to craft a lot again, it will change. Okay, so down here I have some bins that store things like um, bags and planner supplies, ribbon, stickers, letter stickers, miscellaneous, and bows. I reach for these a lot and I like storing them flat. Right above that is some more flat storage. Um, I've got, e easy to reach, I've got my scoreboard, my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my ruler. And they're easy to reach and pull out. I have regular ephemera pieces in here and vintage ephemera pieces in one of those. Um, I have a card, shaker card set here and in here I have some things for some journaling when I'm ready to use that. Here's another, here's the uh, card kit from Anna Griffin. Those I got from Tuesday morning. This is my papers that I have from, from the Planner Society. 
I received the Planner Society monthly box for a little over a year. And so that's what that is. Love those papers. And I have all those in there. And they give you acetate and vellum papers as well each month. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. These are my supplies for Bible journaling, including stickers and stamps, washi, ephemera, scissors, stapler, and some other glue and some other little ephemera pieces in there. This is um, where I, st I store my stamps. I don't have a lot of rubber stamps and they're in various places, but um, like, you know, some of them are in the uh, Bible journaling supplies, some of them are on that rascal cart, and then there's some of them in here, and then I have the wood, wood stamps. But I'm kind of picky about what stamps I use, and I don't use them a whole lot, so I don't want to get ones that I'm not going to use. And then this has paper that is smaller in size, including index cards and some um, like four by six paper pads. These are some tools like glue guns and my my heat. Oh, it's used my fuser, my fuse tool, and then some jewelry tools and some um, sorry and some punches. And over here I have sticker packs like the butterfly stickers from um, Dollar Tree and some of my sticker packs from. I'm drawing a blank from Planner Society and other things from Target and stuff and, and like my letter, my, um, see I can tell already I'm going to have to put that in a new spot. My Tim Holtz, my Tim Holtz things and some other word, words and phrases and some things like that. Um, they fit nicely in this little bin. These bins I got from Dollar General and I really like them. These bins I got from Family Dollar and I really like those. So these are just paper pads that are the six by six or the um, four by six. And again, over here the same. Although these I've put um, some ephemera packs with them that go with them. And most of my paper I have bought at Tuesday morning. Some I've gotten at Joann's and, and, uh, and uh, um, Michael's. There's a Project Life pack in there and then some 8x8s. My Daphne's Diary magazines. It's a cute little bike from Walmart. And on the back are um, these books that have CDs and they have a lot of vintage pictures in them. I like Daphne's Diary. It's, it's inspiring, so um, I like to have that on display. Here's various things like sequins, ephemera, po post-it notes, little post-it notes. This ephemera is from Planner Society and those are how many clips for journals and my planner. These are little library cards, little, little bags, little sacks, and uh, they just kind of fit this size. So they're in here. That was made for me by one of my crafty friends. It's one of my one of my favorite verses in the Bible. And um, tissue paper. I love how it fits perfectly in these bands. This was actually a darker green, and I just spray painted it the lighter green. So, but it fits really good. And that's the tissue, my nice tissue paper that I use for packaging things. Um, my die cuts are in here. These are my cuddlebug supplies, and this is my cuddlebug. Um, this is my ribbon storage. This is. A new way to store a ribbon for me but I really like it because I can see it and it's easy to access the ribbon I didn't get enough so there's a lot of ribbon on the outside too and some of these are too wide anyway for that way of storing them this is my journal that I bought from treasure books here online I love this little journal another journal that I made and some things that I can use in that journal so that's ready to go when I'm ready to get back to it and use it some more. Um, these are some markers and some stickers from Planner Society. They they gave out these little sticker holders. So I have three of those and, and stickers in them and 
Um, some of the markers are just regular markers and some of them are my Cricut markers. This used to be stored behind the Cricut. This in the corner is some happy mail that I've received and some vintage tags that I've made. Um, I'm storing my yarn and my uh, kind of specialty yarn, like eyelash yarn, in these two baskets. These baskets are always at my Walmart and there's those cute little house stamps. <laughs> um, behind my uh, letter board is my sequin storage and I got those from Walmart and I store them by color. So like all the pinks are in one, all the reds in one, greens in one, multicolor in one. And it's also um, letter storage to store the letters for the letter board. And up there is my um, ink dauber storage. And at the very top is my sewing box and baskets with uh, tag clips and other happy mail that I've received in them. And then that's an empty basket. These are papers that I have, uh, Maggie Holmes paper, scrap paper, uh, I think uh, one of them is uh, acetate and chipboard and um, other specialty papers. This shelf is all of my card stock and here's that little frame from Ikea. Me and my daughter are making each other a little kind of like tags to hang from the frame. Here's some trims that I have that are just trimmed and not, they don't fit on the, they don't fit in the ribbon storage. And then in these three bins, I have scrap white paper, scrap black paper, and scrap um, vellum. Down here is another new thing I have in my storage. So I got it from scrapbook.com and it's just bins and I'm storing various things in the bins. And on top of that is this little storage box that I got from Dollar General and it has various supplies in it. There's my Xyron. These are my 12 by 12 paper pads and uh, these are actually going out in some Happy Mail soon. Uh, in this box, what is it in this box? Oh yeah, loose paper loose paper and then these are my 12 by 12 paper pads in here I have Jen Hadfield papers I have um, mind's eye papers glitter papers and down here I believe is the paper packs that you can get like at Tuesday morning with, that has a sample of all the papers and stickers and down here are my we are memory keepers boards I did have more but I got rid of the ones that I hadn't used in a long time these are the ones that I always use, like tags and um, the tag punch board and the frame punch board and the envelope punch board and things like that. Over here is tool, uh, packing, crepe paper, there's my printer. We have all sorts of things in these little boxes that you get from Dollar Tree. Paper clips, um, dew dots charm type things, more different paper clips and brads, buttons, my distress inks. These have things like the little washi sample holders and tags and clips and you know all kinds of stuff. Um, the, the, this storage holds my pens, my markers, etc. I like my pens that I use for Zentangle and I use them on Actually, everything. Those micron pens are my favorites. And then I have brush markers and things like that. A little bit of storage up here. It's a little thing I got at the Matsuri in February. And some aromatherapy things. And then these are little vintage stickers and buttons. Over here, a picture that I got for Christmas. A drawn picture of my husband and I teeny tiny scraps that I don't know what I'm going to do with but they're kind of choice scraps and I know I'll be able to do something with them. Make a teeny tiny tag flip <laughs> or a whole bunch of teeny tiny tag flips. Brushes and there's some um, highlighters. Down here we've got some of this uh, it's like jewelry bead storage and I use it for beads but I also use it for eyelets, brads and charms. These are some things that I've recently made for my um, Happy Meal Ideas series, which got interrupted, but I hope to finish. These are some 
adhesives and also like the gold flakes, some colored pencils. It's just a, a good little bin for these types of things. Some um, water jars and like my uh, glossy accents and Mod Podge stuff and also gesso and clear gesso. That's where my printer is and I also have my Kleenex and the Kleenex box is an SVG cut that I got. I'll, I'll link her below. I like her SVG cuts. She does a really a lot of fun stuff. And then my wipes. That is a project that I'm getting ready to send out in Happy Mail. Over here in this story, as you can see, I've got my little laminator. That picture of flowers was made by my aunt. She's very crafty, my aunt Diana Mueller. And she um, she's always been crafty ever since I can remember. She was always making things like amazing gingerbread houses and and those birthday cakes that are that are have Barbies in them. <laughs> And she was making home decor and all sorts of things. And, and she was a florist, a very, a very good florist. So anyway, recently she got into alcohol paints and she made all kinds of paintings and she gave that to me and I just love it. Um, you know, here's some found items in here. And here's my little Tim Holtz deer. And here's some storage for things like Prisma colors and my gelatos are in here, hodgepodge hardware. Um, my gelatos are in this little tin, and then this one is um, these like plastic flowers, and these have all sorts of little supplies in them, all sorts of little things in there, stars and stickers and felt things and teeny tiny stickers. And this little shelf has things like spray bottles. The bottom one is mostly sequins and glitter. Um, and then up here I have some, a few ink pads. Over here I've got my uh, foam adhesive strips. And back here I've got these. Uh, they're from Thickers and they help you to place your lettering on your scrapbook layouts and, and to uh, do other things on your scrapbook layouts. They're really helpful. I need that kind of help. Some embossing thread. I say that right? Embroidery thread, not embossing thread. Little tiny stamps. And this is my diamond cut die cut machine, which is really great to have. Um, for, it's easy to use and on smaller die cuts, it's really great. Some buttons, some butterfly stickers, some of those little tiny wood stamps. These are templates that I use for envelopes and all kinds of happy mail goodie ideas. Twine, more clips for journals and stuff. And these are homemade stamps that I made. Up here, I have a couple of more tools. I have that uh, wax seal tool and this label maker tool. And then the supplies that I need for those. And they just sit in that little basket. These are refills on things like wipes and staples and that sort of thing. Here's some little random flowers. And in this one, I have my paint supplies. Up there, I've got some of my Delusion Spray inks. And in this box are journaling cards and frames that I have bought or made that are ready to go. This is my scrap paper box. I don't know if you can see it, but I have my scrap papers organized by, uh, by color. <laughs> and here is, these are, these two little containers hold um, mini pocket letters and this container holds mini clothes pins. Okay, and that is that shelf. I know this video is getting long. I'm sorry everybody, but I'm on the last part of my craft room, which is my desk. I do plan to get a white desk for filming purposes and I know for less than 200 I can get one from Ikea if I, that has like Alex drawers and the same exact surface area. So, but that's in the future. And for now, I love my desk. This is the desk that I got my master's degree on. <laughs> so anyway, in these drawers, I have more paper and notebooks stored. In this one, I've got some of these rotary stamps and pens and um, little tiny bags and uh, circle dots and here's where I keep my uh, 
little uh, hair bands, which I use for all kinds of stuff. And there's my glue sticks, easy in reach. And, and these are good for um, projects as cards and stuff. And, you know, other little things like tweezers and this tool and things like that. And then this drawer, I have more of the same kind of supplies. Here's a corner punch and a hole punch. I love this tool. I use it a lot. There's a little distressing tool. Uh, mini staplers and staples, glue dots, some foam sticker dots there. These are bookmarks and this is for sanding and there's uh, toothpicks in there. And then over here I've got some of these um, spare parts, the bottle caps and then the um, stickers that you put in them. And also these vellum uh, dots. Those are nice for Happy Mail. Um, that's like all of my uh, stuff for paying bills. And I also have some markers in there and some pens. This is my journal, uh, my daily journal, my planner, and a um, Bible journaling Bible that I haven't done a lot in yet. But I have it out now so that I can do more in it. And then I have my Kindle and my laptop there. There's my Diet Coke, <laughs> scissors, Tim Holtz stapler, um, corner cutter and eyelet setter from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, more scissors. I love the Tim Holtz scissors the best, and, and there's the little pick thing, which is very handy. I love my Sumo Grip pencil. Um, the lead's very thick, but I just love that pencil in my bone folder. This is where I keep my phone. Stapler in this middle drawer. I have my a, uh, my advanced tape glider, my paper cutter, a regular stapler, and a keyboard to um, plug in when I want to use the keyboard for writing. And this is my bulletin board, which holds uh, some of my uh, recent, like this is my most recent mini pocket letter received from my daughter. Um, those are pictures drawn by my little granddaughter. <laughs> She's so sweet. And um, these are summer pocket letters. So I'll go through my pocket letters. And oh, and this is from Hope, who's Nana, uh, Nana Sweets on Instagram. And she also has a YouTube channel. Uh, she sent that to me very recently. And this is my crafty BFF, Chassis. And uh, that's a shaker that she made. And it's me and my guy. <laughs> so anyway, oh, and this is from Mississippi Valley. So, so sweet. And, um, I love the shaker on the front. I just, so any time of the year that I can get away with putting that on my board, I do. <laughs> spring, summer, not fall or winter, but spring and summer, it's up all the time. So that is my craft room tour. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.